Hey everyone, thought I'd vlog. It's a bit early in the morning. It's only about nine o'clock on Monday morning. This is like vlog 282 or something. Uh, not a good day, not a good night. Um, didn't sleep. Haven't been able to sleep real good uh, because I've been out of my medication Ambien for a week now. And, uh, so I haven't been able to really sleep real well. What do sleep I get is really not very good sleep. Um, if you're wondering what that is behind me, that's concrete. See all that concrete? That's got to be broken up and hauled out of here. Uh, so I didn't sleep real well. Josh slept all day. He got up around uh, midnight or so. And so when he gets up, he watches TV. I was on the couch. And uh, so I knew I had to get up. Anyways, uh, so I've been up since then. My mom dropped by before work. <laughs> She had to work today, and she dropped me off ornaments. They weren't going to put up a tree this year, so they dropped me off their ornaments and stuff. So I was putting them on the tree, and I was trying to say, you know, Josh, we need to start. In this fight, and he hit and we hit it on. And didn't, I knew it didn't look right, you know, it was wrong. So I took it down. It's windy today. So I took it down and redone it. And um, he took my ornaments off, which I didn't, I asked him not to, because I had them pretty secure. I had them really secure. And uh, anyways, he did. And then when I went to put it back on, for some reason, I dropped it. And it was my precious moments, the only ornament I had on there. And it, I dropped it and broke. I got up, you know, I got pretty pissed about it. Um, there's a lot of things that have been weighing on my mind, too. Uh... hot water situation my showers are no longer than five minutes before the water goes completely cold and so something's wrong something has been wrong I told him it's probably, we probably just need to replace the water heater it's over tw it's over 25 years old it's gas I need to switch to electric I'm trying to get away from the gas bill and Nothing's ever done, nothing's been done about it. My uncle came and sealed the doors, but didn't seal the one spot it needed to be. He didn't seal the back of the of the building. The uh, holes are still there. It's not real hot, big holes, but there's also a crack going down the back. And uh, it's letting cold air into the inside of those bricks. You know, they have like an internal two spaces for the, for the air to be, so it keeps cool, warm, whatever. So it's got a leak. And there's, of course, birds or squirrels or something has got up underneath the awning into the attic. Probably just time to stay warm. It's not really a big deal, but it needs to be taken care of. And I told them about it a month, a week ago. Pretty much a week ago. Still nothing. Um, the There's some, beyond these, this back fence right here is not our property, but a piece of the property next to the fence has a bunch of weeds growing along the bottom that have been growing underneath. Anyways, it needed to be uh, poisoned or something because it's not just weeds, it's got like trees and shit. It's still out there, it's really bad behind this spot, it's like 10 foot Johnson grass, 10 foot tall. Um, you know, it's getting winter now, it's gonna die, but it's still real thick in there, so there's nothing I can do like to get rid of that shit you, they're gonna have to bring down like power saw and stuff like that to really get all that all the, the roots and stumps up and everything and nobody's taking it's i've been down here for how long you know i went to two weeks without heat pretty much two weeks without heat um i've just kind of been 
<clears throat> forgot about. And uh, I told you my my grandparents really are my acting as my parents, but they don't really, they never did. So I never had that con connection, and um, with a parent, uh, I have a connection with my mother now, but you know, she can't do much. Um, I have a, conne a slight connection with my father. You know, we love each other and stuff, but there's no like emotional support. I've never had real emotional support, but myself. To switch. Ooh. So, um, the people that I need to rely upon aren't being very reliable. I hope some people, some of y'all, don't think I'm being like a brat or I'm stuck up or I'm. I don't want y'all to think that. If you knew the situation, if you knew my my family, my brother is screwed up a lot in his life, and so they treat him a certain way because it's over. He doesn't, you know, he hasn't stopped, so he hasn't given a real reason for it, for us to treat him differently or better. Um, we don't expect him to, we no longer expect him to stay straight and to stay sober. You know, we expect him to not be. Um, but they treat me like him. Sometimes. And, uh, like I... I don't know. They, they're... Okay, I asked my grandfather the day before I graduated high school. I said, will you help me go to college? I just needed help, you know. I, I wanted to go to college. And he said no. Um, he said in 1930-something or 40-something that he paid his own college tuition and worked and went to school or worked in the lab at the school and got paid. But back then, you know, bread was a nickel. And he doesn't understand that at the time, there was no way for me to work work full time and go to school. It just wasn't, it wasn't possible. And he didn't see that. And uh, so I had to go to work the day after I graduated high school, I went straight to work. And so I haven't been able to go to college because I haven't had the funds and I'm not going to get a uh, help from the government because I'm not going to owe the government for the rest of my life. They, they treat me like my brother as if I've, I've done the things that he's done and I haven't. All through high school I didn't drink, I smoked cigarettes, um, but I didn't drink, I didn't party, I didn't smoke pot, I didn't do drugs, I didn't do anything. And I, and I never got into trouble, you know, I never got pulled over, I got pulled over one time, but it was for, you know, it was for speeding, I didn't even get a ticket, I never had a ticket in my life, you know, I've never, I've never, I was always too, more mature, because, you know, I took care of my brother from the time that I was five and a half, six years old, I started taking care of him. And I never really had a childhood, so I've been kind of a grown-up ever since I was, you know, like kindergarten age, for real, like on the stove cooking food. So, 
I need help and I want help, they just, it's like I have to go through a whole, why do you need $20, you know? Well, you know, my kids gotta eat, and dog food, you know, I mean, just simple things. Anyways, this vlog's gone on way long. One of my longest vlogs ever. I hope it gives you a little insight into my daily life. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Hope everybody's doing alright this Monday. See you guys tomorrow.